In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Unreal Engine 5. It is currently in early access, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a try. It has a lot more features to offer than Unreal Engine 4, so it's definitely worth taking a look. The first thing you need to do to install Unreal Engine 5 Early Access is to click on the link that's in the description below and you will end up on a page that looks like this. We now need to go ahead and download the Epic Games Launcher. So you need to click on Get Epic Games and it will then begin to download Epic Games Installer. Once the download has finished, we now need to go ahead and run the setup file. You now need to choose where you'd like to install the launcher I'm happy for it to be installed on my C drive, so I'm now going to go ahead and press install. If you do want to change the location, just click change. Once the Epic Games Launcher has finished installing, it should automatically launch. If it doesn't, then go ahead and launch the Epic Games Launcher from the shortcut on your desktop or search for it in the start menu. So you now have a few different options. If you want to sign in using Facebook, Google, Xbox Live, PlayStation, or Nintendo, Steam, or Apple, go ahead and select these options here, or you can go ahead and sign up for an account if you don't want to use those options. I actually already have an Epic Games account, so I'm going to go ahead now and sign in with my Epic Games account. Once you have signed into your Epic Games account, you now need to go ahead and select Unreal Engine on the left-hand side, but I have just noticed they got the Battlefield 2042 there on pre-purchase. If you haven't seen the trailer yet, I recommend you watch it. It really is awesome. Right, so once you're on the Unreal Engine tab, you now need to go ahead and select UE5 on the right-hand side tab here. And you now need to go ahead and click on Download Early Access. And we now need to agree to the terms. If you do agree, select I have read and accept. And we can now go ahead and press Install. And you now need to choose where you'd like to install the Unreal Engine 5. Once you are happy with the options that you've selected, go ahead and press Install. And the Unreal Engine 5 will now begin to download and install to your computer. Once Unreal Engine 5 has finished installing, you can now go ahead and click on Launch UE5 Early Access. Once UE5 has booted up, you will have a few different options. As you see, I have an option to build games. I can do film and video live events, or I can also do architect, engineering and construction, or automotive product design and manufacturing. I'm going to go ahead and select games, and you can now choose first person, or if you want to do a puzzle, third person, vehicle advanced, and handheld AR. You have lots of different options there. I'm now going to go ahead and select first person. I'm just going to leave the project name as my project and now click on create. So as you can see, this is an example project of a first person shooter game. So basically they've already done the hard work for us. If I go ahead and press play up the top here, I am now in this little example first person shooter. And basically this is what Unreal Engine 5 is all about. If you've never used it before, it allows you to make loads of cool games and you can do so much more than this. They aren't normally grey, you can add so many cool textures to the game. Basically, you can do whatever you want. There isn't really a limit to what you can achieve in Unreal Engine. So I hope this little video has helped in giving you an idea on how to install Unreal Engine 5 Early Access. Don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.